$30,000 sounds like it should be enough to buy a car, right? Well, not anymore. According to CNBC, just 8% of new vehicles cost less than $30,000. Before the pandemic, which was only a couple of years ago, 38% of new vehicles were under $30,000, so according to information from Copilot. In fact, the company's CEO says this is the least affordable car market in modern history. Apparently, a lot of this is on us. Even before the pandemic, consumers were shifting from lower priced sedans to SUVs and trucks. Now those vehicles are more expensive to begin with. Then come the upgrades, heated and cooled seats, expensive touch screens with the latest technology and 360 degree cameras. Dealers started filling lots with vehicles that had all the bells and whistles to meet demand. According to Edmonds, the average vehicle transaction was about $48,000 in May, and 10% of all vehicles that are sold today top $70,000 on the sticker. Are you looking for something new for under $20,000? Well, just a third of 1% of new cars are available for that price. Five years ago, it was 8%. So the important advice here is to save for your next vehicle. Go ahead and put it in your budget. By the way, high interest rates are a compounding problem here too. You may want to shop for a used car, but expect those prices to be much higher too.